Hello and welcome back to Foundry. In our last episode, we discovered that we have a massive, massive problem. Or, well, maybe more like two or even three massive problems. Uh, the first one is power. Uh, we are ridiculously short on power right now, uh, largely because we're overusing... Uh, well, we didn't have enough power set up probably, but we're also overusing our fuel cells. Uh, the second problem is um, we ran out of our original uh, xenoferrite mine over there by where the um, sort of by where the by where the power setup is, and then the uh, third problem is the fuel cells themselves. So um, I did a couple things uh, off camera. Uh, one of those is I, I made a bunch of uh, solar panels and some batteries as well. So we're going to set those up here today first. Uh, here's the batteries, 10 of those and 20 solar panels. I don't know if that's going to be enough to make a difference or not, but it's a bunch. Uh, this, the, the second problem uh, being the xenoferrite, I, uh, because we have only one xenoferrite mine left. And we have that uh, coming in, and it is working, it just doesn't have enough power. It, it's coming in here uh, into, the, um, into the first lift that goes up to the xenoferrite plate floor. Um, that means we, um, uh, we we have some xenoferrite ore going in there, but not enough. So what I've done here is, and if you remember, we have these hooked up so that this one has a, this one's being picked up first, this one's second, and this one third, and they're all coming off of the same belt that makes about, uh, I forget what it was. Um, it might have been three or four of these. It might have been four of these. So it might be like. It might be 640. Um, uh, but what I've done is um, I've hooked up this this belt here coming out of the first one uh, in a loop a little bit here so that it goes into this intake first. Uh, therefore, it goes to the steel first, and then it goes to the xenoferrite plates. Um, and that way, I'm hoping at least that the any xenoferrite ore coming from down that belt that goes into that lift will get at least some shared priority with some of this, and that the steel will hoover up what it needs before it lets it go on to the... Uh, to the, to the xenofire plates. And then we also have this one here that's going up to concrete, but I don't really care that much about it because it's um, it's just the concrete and we have some of that made, but I'm not gonna prioritize that right now. Anyway, oh, we're actually doing pretty well. Uh, we're gonna have 3,200 concrete when we're done. Um, someone told me today how much concrete they used. I think it was Brian told me how much concrete they used. Um, and it was a lot. I don't know if it was more or less than this. I can't remember, I'm sorry. But, uh, but once this gets filled up, it'll stop, it'll back up and we'll be fine. Um, I also stopped the research that we're working on, the mining efficiency research, um, because all that's doing is draining more resources and draining more power. So uh, after the end of the last episode, I paused that and uh, hopefully that will reduce our power consumption for a little while and then we can reactivate it uh, later after we have power straightened out a little bit better. So um, our power here is still strained. You can see right there on the thing that I can't reach to point at because of the way I have this set up, or can I? Nope, can't reach it still. Still says strained though. So we're gonna come over here to where we started laying out solar and uh, we'll expand this out a bit more. I think I'm just gonna go this way with it and just expand these out uh, here. This one also, that one there. And we're just gonna add all 20 of these that I built and then we'll put the 10 batteries on maybe the other side. So we're just gonna keep expanding this a bit. Uh, that's one, two, three. Yeah, I only made uh, 12 before, so we're going to get a little bit more solar this time. Which means I need to make this be a bit bigger. And I could make more, that's just all I need. These add, how much do these add each? 650, so 20 more would be another... Uh, see, that's two would be 1,300, so 13,000, so 13... Uh, 13 megawatts. I don't know if that's going to do it or not. Well, we currently have, our grid says, uh, we're currently producing 36 and we need 51, so probably not, actually. Uh, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, let's go, because we need to get started at least first. Let's go here like this, out to there somewhere like that. And maybe I'll take that corner off, we'll see. And then here, uh, X... Let's go one away again. Here's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
I gotta hook these up by a power pole, of course. And I need to make some power poles then. I almost made it big enough to match that edge without even trying that hard. That was pretty good. There we go. Alright, so that's that's that. Let's make a few more power poles. Do I have? I do have the stuff. I was looking at the wrong ones. Uh, nine to go to here. To there. To there. There. To there. To there. And then there can go not to there. I think we'll just come here to the center and then we can run these along uh, even... Yeah, double length like this. Like we did the other side. Here, and then you connect up right there. I think that'll work out okay. And then we can do um, you to there to there. You to there to there. And then you to there. On a power pulse again. Make a bunch. We're going to need more anyway. go. Clear the setting or the, the selection. Alright, that's the three. Now we need to do this all over again and again and again and again. That's beautiful. I like it. Oops. Except I did too much. Here. And I'll fill this little spot in here. I don't know if this is actually big enough even or not. I guess I should have tried that out first. This goes here. Not big enough. Okay. Oops. We'll fix it. Oh, there's a tree there. And there. And a couple of these probably too. Just that one. There. And that's the end because we didn't make any more than that. Obviously. Uh, let's do this. I know these probably aren't going to work, some of these, but we'll get them wired in anyway and then we can fix the foundation. And I want you to go to here. And I guess oh, I'm out of power cables too. Here. Oh, that one's maxed out. Okay, then we're just going to go to here. And then to here, and then to there. Wait, did I put this? I put these in the wrong spot. Dang it. Oh no, that one's right. All right. It's these ones that I needed to fix. Oof that up. And then you go there, there, good. There. I think everybody's hooked up now. Uh, we had, we just added 20. I should have counted how many we had first. But I guess we had one, two, three, we had 12 first. So I should see 32 on the grid now large solar panels no i'm missing four somewhere <laughs> oh geez uh let's see you oh you're not connected to the grid here this one needs to go over to that there we go i guess i could check any of these right 32 large okay and then we could do some some batteries as well and they are they are absorbing some charge so right now we are producing a little bit more power than we need uh, at the moment, but as soon as uh, night hits, we're gonna be we're gonna be dead again. So um, I guess I should probably produce a few more uh, solar panels, and then we can do. Um oh, and I also need to fix this part too, and then we can do uh, other stuff. You go away. Uh, let's go out here. At least this far, but possibly further. Uh, 
I would have foundations too. Oh. Then just give me one out to there so that those can be on a surface if they needed it. Which I didn't double check to make sure they even did. Foundation blocks are over here somewhere by Red Science. A few hundred more. I've got some biomass to burn too. Since we murdered a bunch of trees. Me out. But I could definitely do four more right here without a problem. Uh, we just need to go get some energy cells. And probably circuit boards too. Um, I'll just take a whole stack. That's fine. Where are we at with other things that I might need? Circuit boards. Look at that. One. Oh, xenoferrite plates. How bad is that? Oh, it's full. Well then, that's not what I was expecting to see. Uh, one, two, three. That's four. That's another four. Advanced machinery parts are now a problem, I saw. Those are here. That'll get me to 36 now. Mm-hmm. And then for anything more, we could expand this out another, uh, I guess that's five, 10, 11, 12 blocks. like that and that should get me to 40 which we'll call probably good enough for now i do have more stuff i could make seven more uh and maybe i should but we should go put down some of these um batteries first and i want to push those out this way although i can put two of them right here without a problem uh one space away yeah one space away but then they're lined up with with these uh, and then i was connecting them up to pairs of power like that. That'll give me a little bit more nighttime power. Uh, we're inching toward the nighttime now, so we'll have to see how that holds out. Uh, let's do these. Yeah, let's add another few blocks here. That's going to be in the way. Do that. You go out like that, and then drop down like that. And then, of course, I did that. Then we can go like this. Delete this. Delete that. Delete this. Then like that. Uh, we'll take power cable over this way. We'll just do one, two, three. Six. How many do I have left? Two. Okay. I need power poles again.
All right, that should give me a little bit more power storage, and then I could, um, I could round this out to put those other two in there. If I round it out, I of course mean square it up. Am I out of foundation parts again? Yeah. I would like that, I think. And then one of you goes here. The other of you goes here. Uh, we'll need to have a power line that goes to... Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Did it wrong. It's important to do it right. Because it'll matter later. One of you goes over there. The other one goes here. And this can go here to... I think it would go here then. And into there. And this one would go to... Here. And back to there. Okay. We have a bigger grid now. Yay. Hopefully that's enough to make a difference. Plus having turned off the research. Uh, if not, uh, we will have to deal with that otherwise. So the next task we need to do is to fix Xenoferrite. And the way to do that is going to be to um, go underground and expand the mining. I want to grab some more foundations here. take 600 uh, belts where I think we're okay on, at least for now. We may need higher level belts. Um, I want to drop off this biomass and be used someplace. Uh, this dirt as well. I should actually use the dirt to fill in the, uh, the xenoferrite hole from the last time. Uh, let's see. Where are we at with Tectum? Plenty. We have the xenoferrite. I could take some more with me. Machine parts. Top that off. No electronics at all. Steel. Top that off. Advanced machine parts. We have a full stack. Uh, we don't need those. Top these off. Uh, energy cells. I'm going to drop off the ones that I have left. 120 left. Put them in one of the unused slots and that we can use them later. Pistons we don't need. High-tech machine parts we probably don't need either. I have plenty of those too anyway. Okay, so yeah, that's the next thing we got to do is, is fix our xenoferrite uh, mine down below because we are clearly um, still not producing enough, which we did know. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, what was I going to look at before I went and did that? I don't remember. Oh, I was going to drop off that biomass. And then we'll have to fix uh, Ignium after that. Here comes the night time. So now is the time when the power will have problems. But hopefully, like I said, the uh, turning off of, of research will fix that once all the machines get backed up and stuff at least. Uh, Xenoferrite, here we come. So, how do we fix this? I think the easiest way to fix this, if it fits, would be to turn, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> uh, would be, would, the easiest way to fix this would be to turn all of these miners um, 90 degrees and feed half of them 90 degrees this way and half of them 90 degrees that way, but it's not gonna fit. Uh, because we have five here. One, two, three, four, five. Times um, uh, 160. Plus 10%. I think we did one, completed one research of this. So yeah, plus 10% of the um, of the crud. Why are we not getting anything for you? Are you jammed against something? You might be. Are you jammed against that, that rock up there? I 
think you are. Dang it, we're going to have to recall the miners, some of the miners at least. Okay, I need to put down a bit more foundation here. So that I can walk across here. Just like three is enough, I think. That should be enough. Uh, recall the miner. Uh, let's check the, if we can check the rest of these. Are any of these working? The first one's working. This is, oh boy, those are way backed up here. This is going to be a problem though. Because I can't get in there to, to adjust them. Uh, maybe I can get around it, though. Maybe not. Um, maybe I can get around it by uh, going down the one, going down to the one that I was that I recalled. So that's that's the problem. With, that's the flaw with building these things uh, right up next to each other. But the problem, if you don't do that, is you have this nice thin line of stuff in your way all the time. Uh, a fix for this could be to drop this down by one level. It probably wasn't a smart thing to put it that close to the rock. Um, but yeah, that's the problem. It can't it can't eat this. So thank you to those of you who pointed out that. Because they can't eat this rock. So we're going to have to lower these all down by one foundation. You're still going. I don't see how you're stuck. But I also don't see how you're producing anything. Oh, you are. Okay, you are producing. And then this final one is also producing. So I think it's really just those last couple. Yeah, you've really gone in there. Holy crap. Um, so that means we're going to have to do some blasting to expand this in that direction. To get more um, xenopharite in here. But we need to do something with this. Because there's no way either of these will continue working. And the rest of them may catch up to this problem. Or some of them may also catch up to this problem later. So let's do this. Let's take this up uh, here. Which means I also need to take all these rails out. And yes, number two is working again. But it's not going to continue working for long. And the greatest strain because it's nighttime. Yeah, see, the, the power just plummeted because we don't have any uh, battery charge anymore. And the solar didn't hold it up for long enough. So we need to blast more, I guess, in this direction to uh, get some more xenopharite out. And then this was 140 becomes 100. We were just assuming, yeah, so I should change this too because um, this was always assuming that uh, 140, or that these were only going to ever produce 160. But over time, uh, they're going to keep producing more and more and more. So we'll be actually be able to, pr to produce more uh, xenopharite ore with less miners over time. All right, so what I want to do here is take this whole floor out here. Uh, yep, this whole floor here. Uh, and we're going to take out this bit over here too. And then I need to do some blasting. That you're coming back to. I need to do some blasting in this direction all the way down the line. What do I have? I have one explosive left. That's not going to work. I need to go get some Ignium. See if I had followed... Uh, if I had followed some of the advice that, other, that some folks had given me, which I didn't do, um, I would have brought um, Ignium ore down here for fuel for these instead of the the capsules, the, the fuel cells. And then I would have had, um, I would have had any more I could pick up to make explosives. And I wouldn't have to deal with the return capsules, but I didn't even, it didn't even really occur to me um, that I would have that exact problem, I guess. Let's go here and pick some of this up. Thirty. That doesn't give me enough. I need to keep hoovering this up. Actually, can I just pick it up like out of these machines? Would that work? Would that work for you? Works for me. Here. All right. That was twenty-four. I hope that's gonna be enough. Let's 
Let's see, you need to come out now. And all your rails are gonna have to come out too. Uh, let's just do this. Like this. Just take the whole flooring out too. Uh, Cause we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna have to drop all that down by one level. Which means we're gonna have to figure out how to handle the belt situation. Let's do the blasting. Uh, let's take out a little bit more right here. And then some over there. That's a little too low. Some over there. That's a little too high. Yeah, I do have to be back a bit further from that. I don't know if that was any better. And then we have to blast a lot of this out here. And I'm trying to be cognizant of being that close to this stuff without destroying it, with also um, not having to tear it all apart. I'd rather not. I'd really rather not. But I think we're okay there. Uh, let's take out a bit more up here. Ah, dang it. I just blew up a bunch of stuff. Too close. Too close. Oh well. It was like a... Uh, what's it called? Thermal separator? May manually edit some of this out over here. That'll give me enough room for... three, maybe just about four more. Um, this is good here. I'll go here. Here. Over there somewhere. It's a bit low. It might be too high. That... And then I can just laser this bit right here. That'll be fine. Actually, that kind of could have been kept, but it's fine too. We gotta, we gotta laser all these bits, otherwise they stay here. I went too fast over some of them. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see here. What do I have? Did I miss one? That one. Felt it impacting my feet. I was moving around. Let's see here. We have we have these at one to one. We're not going to keep that idea. Um, but let's take out uh, let's take out some more of this here because this all needs to get bumped down by a level. And then we have to figure out how to route the belts in for multi level of uh, mining here. Or we could just re bring it all down a level. That would work too. Maybe we should just do that. All all five so far, and then whatever new ones we add. Yeah, let's just do that. That's that's probably smarter in the long run. Um, here, I'm, I'm linking it so that I can link up the power. And I want to come out again a bit. Okay, did I have any poke-throughs here? No, no pokies. Okay, good. This goes here. There's some pokies there. It's got to come out. Yeah, maybe we should just lower this all down. I didn't need to come over this far or back this far, but that's fine. Do this much. Oops, I missed one. Oh. Okay. And uh, these bits here, too. Hopefully this is going to be enough. So let's recall these miners, and we can drop this whole thing down. I hate it, but... Oh, boy, that's full. Let's, um... Let's tweak this belt here, too, uh, a bit. This is the through belt starting here that takes the uh, ore out, or the, the, the rubble out, and makes it, um, and passes it through to be picked up for the uh, for the refining. 
let's just make this a straight through uh, belt here all the way to this machine the last one I didn't blow up which is right here and then we'll take uh, this out just this can come out completely here you two actually um, and I fell down here which is going to be a pain to get back out of uh, not too bad missed you oh I blew that one up too okay and then this here can just come out. Oops, I should have gone up a little bit higher. Uh, you can come out this way and then go up. And that'll be good for that. But we also need to take out... No, I still want this one to run. And then I want to take... Wait a minute. Why are you not... Oh, you are emptying. You're emptying this slot here. Are you? Wait a minute. I mean, those could be prioritizing because of the pickup situation here. Did I never connect these? Did I really never connect these up? If I didn't, um, that would explain a few things. If I did and somehow deleted them just now, that explains a few other things. Not getting rubble fast enough. No, you are not. Uh, let's do a belt upgrade here. Can we do greens? Uh, 14 belts. Yes, we can. There you go. Just go crazy. Bring it all in. What do I have in my inventory that I don't want? Some of this. There you go. Have some. If I really left that that way and this is still working as well as it was, like that, that's impressive. That's truly impressive. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this drain out. Because it's going to take this one a little while, especially to drain out. Because it's getting overridden by um, the, these ones over here. Uh, which probably isn't great in, in retrospect. Maybe I shouldn't have done this belt linking thing just yet. Um, because that one's going to have more priority than this one. But, um, yeah, we're going to let this go. I think what we're going to do is go back upstairs for a little while. Uh, we may even have to turn some science back on just to drain out some of these plates. Uh, let's go back up to the surface and put some more solar in. I'll need to grab some more foundation, of course. And then, um, uh, grab those, uh, those whatchamacallits back, those, uh, those fuel cells back, and then we can see what we can get for power. Um, yeah, we're not even using Xenofire anymore. It's backed up completely. Because, again, we're not doing any any science. Um, let's grab... How many of these do we have? Let's grab another stack of those and we'll grab some of these. Go to the other side. Energy cells. We had. Okay, that gives me 12 more. That ought to help matters. Uh, but I want to look at what the actual grid says right now. Yeah, we're charging batteries, so it's going to use everything whether we actually need it or not. I forgot the foundations. Right here. It's close, but no cigar. And it's full. Uh, and I, I have three full stacks. What do I have that I could have thrown away? Some igneum fuel rods? Yeah, I suppose I could. 
How did I have so many loaders? Oh, because I tore apart all that. Yeah. And all these rails, too. That, and these rail miners. Yeah, I have too much stuff now. I really do not need. You can actually run straight across belts that are one space away like that. Which I realized, I think, offline one time. Uh, but I forgot to point that out. So you can go here. There. 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 You can go there. No space. I didn't put down enough. I have I have freaking stone too, yeah. Okay, now. So I'm super, if, if that was true about that I didn't screw something else up there, but if that was true about that uh, that xenoferrite ore not being connected to that output belt, I'm surprised we were getting that much performance out of it. <laughs> I put down eight. And this says, uh, should be 48. 48. I have four more that I made. And I didn't think this out well enough. Uh, let's do uh, 12 more. Wow, that is so fast. That's ridiculous, it's so fast. Wait, I screwed that up. go. Here. I mean, for, for dirt and sand, it's that fast. It's, as you saw below, it's a little bit slower for, uh, for other resources like, um, like the ores. But you don't need to use it on those. You should be either using explosives or uh, ran out of these two. Any more I have to make, because I only made that many uh, solar panels, but I think we might be okay now. Because if you don't count the uh, batteries charging, um, we're probably okay. For now. Uh, I'll add more if I need to. Um, or we, yeah, we can add more if we need to later, but uh, this should be, this should be good at least during the day for now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to end this here. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and continue working off camera on the um, on the, uh, the the xenophorite deconstruction and then we will um, we'll come back in and put it back together again and then once we have that we can come over here and expand or go go up a floor to the ignium and try and do the same thing expanding that mining and then we'll come over here and build some more of these fuel cells out of that I don't know where we're at, fuel cell-wise. It uh, looks like it's pretty bleak. Um, uh, maybe. Maybe we're gaining a little bit now. We'll see. We have so many batteries to charge up that, you know, maybe it's not uh, not great. Um, some some logic circuits in this game, like we have in Factorio, for example, would be really nice so that we can disable the combustion generators unless the batteries are dead, for example, or below a certain level or something a la uh, a uh, accumulator uh, switch in um, Factorio, but we can hopefully we'll get that at some point in the future and we can have those then. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll, we'll leave this here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.